everyone, my name is Eva Chan and I'm the beauty director at Teen Vogue and you are getting a sneak peek today of my crazy day. So basically you're going to come with me to a fashion show, you're going to meet my team at Teen Vogue and you're going to see everything I do on a day-to-day -day basis and today is extra insane because it's fashion week. So come on in and we'll get a look. so lucky to have the best team in the beauty business. So we have my assistant, Lauren, here. She just started a few months ago and she's a superstar. We have Eden here, who is our amazing web editor. And she basically does all the day-to-day -day writing on teenvogue.com, all about beauty. So you guys have to check out teenvogue.com and read all her amazing beauty stories. That's my team, and they definitely support me during Fashion Week because they also go backstage to shows, and they're doing hairstylist interviews and makeup interviews, and if they're lucky, they get to stay for the show as well. So this is my office. As you can see, my name is hanging here, and I want to warn you guys in advance that in the lead up to Fashion Week, everyone's frantically working, trying to figure out their schedules. So my office is a little bit messier than it usually is, but it's kind of a beautiful mess. I do actually know where everything is. During Fashion Week, it's a little bit crazier. I'm writing stories, I'm editing stories. You can see an edit here uh, of a story that's uh, coming out soon. And then I'm looking at all these products, every brand from CoverGirl to Chanel to L'Oreal to Lancome, they're all sending me their products and I have to kind of sort through what's on my desk and what I love. So Mac, for instance, sent me these products which just hit stores recently. And for me, it's like I have to decide what's right for Teen Vogue and then also find a way to cover it that's interesting. You know, there is so much out there already in the beauty world. There's so many reasons to try a MAC lip gloss, but we want to try to find the story behind it that makes it compelling for a Teen Vogue reader to want to like go out there and buy it and try it. I started in the beauty industry. Really, I fell into it by accident. And that's one thing I always tell young women who are trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives is to try to keep an open mind because you never know. I was pre-med in college. I went to Johns Hopkins in Baltimore and I spent most of my young adult life and my teen years thinking that I was going to end up being a doctor. One summer between junior and senior year I was like, I'm going to do something so completely different and so just out of the ordinary from what I've ever done before. So I applied to a lot of internships and I was choosing between should I do advertising, should I do PR, should I do fashion, and I got an internship at a magazine called Harper's Bazaar. Now Harper's Bazaar is a women's fashion magazine. So my first day of work, I showed up at work and basically I was taken to the beauty closet and the editor was like, you know, all these products are old, they're last season, we don't need them anymore. Is, would you happen to want any of them? And I think my brain exploded. I was like, oh my gosh, seriously? Like, I, it's someone's job to play with these products and to test these products, and I can't believe it's my job now. This is our October issue of Teen Vogue, and we were working on this probably four months ago. So basically in like June, we were working on this. Now the reason for that is first of all, all the designers, they are working on seasons, one whole season ahead. So the fashion show we're going to later, Tibby, what we're gonna be seeing is their spring summer collection. So that's not hitting stores until March. So we already know what the trends will be for next spring. I get asked all the time, how do I work in a magazine? I think I wanna work in fashion when I grow up. So. I think the most important thing is to do your research first. If you're in high school, it's not gonna be easy for you to intern at a big company because most of them require that you're in college and be receiving credit. So if you're in high school, my advice to you is to do your research, do your homework, look at people that you respect and look at people that you really look up to that you whose careers you aspire to be like one day and try to learn everything about them. I don't mean that in a creepy stalker way, just you know, maybe follow them on Twitter, follow them on Tumblr, check out their YouTube and just you know learn as much as you can about the industry. Reach out to people in your community, whether it's a high school alumni, a college alumni, your mom, sisters, hairdressers, best friend who works at, you know, in the fashion industry or Bloomingdale's, even if they can't get you a job, at least you can learn more. And then when you're in college, interning, it's huge. Don't take it personally if you apply to 20 internships and you maybe get one response back. That's just the way the industry is. It's quite competitive, but if you really want it and you really love it, you know, you just, you're persistent and you persevere and you just make it your priority. I would highly recommend and getting as digitally savvy as possible. We have someone at Teen Vogue whose job it is to be our community manager. It's basically her job to, you know, pin things for Teen Vogue and what an amazing job that is. Hi. So that's my alarm, guys, which means that I have to run right now to the Tibby show, but I think you guys are coming along, so I'm gonna do a quick change of clothes because I'm wearing my day clothes, and I will see you backstage.
We'll be right back. 